Hello, welcome back. So today we are going to study the topic, the noun case. Today we will understand what the noun case is. It is very simple. Here in English grammar, case shows the relation of a noun or pronoun to another word in a sentence. And uh, a noun, a noun can be a noun can be put in the following cases. In the following cases. Number one, nominative case. Nominative case. Okay, when you when you read these words nominative, nominative case uh, and the second one is objective case, you may think that this is going to be a difficult topic, but it is very simple. Okay, I will tell you each and everything in very simple words. So it will be a very easy topic. Objective case. Objective case or it is also called. Uh, objective case it has it has another name accusative case accusative accusative case third one is dative case dative case nominative case subjective case dative case and uh, the fourth one is hmm, hmm, case in apposition, case in apposition, case in apposition. Possessive. Possessive, or it is also called a genitive. Genitive case. And now the last one is, uh, and now the la uh, the last one is vocative case. It is vocative case. It is vocative case. Okay, so now we are going to have a look at each of at each of them one by one. Okay, first of all, we will understand what the nominative case is. Then we will understand what the objective case is, and then we will understand dative case, case in apposition, possessive case, possessive or genitive case, and then vocative case. Okay, these are very simple. I mean you will you will be able to understand them very very easily okay and the reason why this top I mean this topic is important because when I tell you nominative case I mean it is not very very useful in in our daily life but if you want to become an English teacher and uh, you give an exam then you may be asked such things for example if i say he is he is a good boy so here the subject the subject of the sentence is called the nominative case it is very simple the subject of a sentence is called the nominative case so it is here he is in the nominative nominative case ye sab bahut hi ek ek line mein aap log samajh lenge keval jo possessive or genitive case hai 
okay that will take some time otherwise these i mean the west five uh, topics will will not take much time okay and so here if i say that shyam killed a man killed a man okay so here shyam is in the nominative case this is in the nominative case why because it is the subject in this sentence subject what is the subject the person or the thing performing the action okay is called the subject yahan pe jo bhi kisi bhi sentence mein jo bhi vyakti kaam karta hai usko subject rakhte hain aur jis pe kaam ka prabhav hota hai and the person or the thing which is affected by the action performed by the subject is called the object okay so here man is in the objective case hum kya kahenge ki jo man hai wo kis mein hai objective case mein hai ya accusative case mein hai to hum likh sakte hain ki man is in the objective case objective case यहां पे मैन जो है वो ऑब्जेक्टिव केस या अक्यूजेटिव केस में है एंड नाउ द थर्ड वन इज डेटिव केस सो इफ अ वर्ब इफ अ वर्ब हैज टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स देन द फॉर एग्जांपल ही गेव मोहन a book okay so here the thing which is given is called the direct object and the person to whom the thing is given is called the indirect object so the direct object the direct object it is always in it is in the objective case objective case hum kahenge ki book is in the objective case means the direct object jo direct object hota hai jaise mohan ne diya to jo kisko diya sorry usne kitab di to kyunki kitab usne di to wo direct object mein hoga jisko di gayi wo indirect object mein hoga so here he gave a book so book is in the direct book is a direct object and it will be put in the objective case and mohan since it is an indirect object so it will be put in the dative case in the dative case okay it is very simple the direct object is always in the objective or accusative case the indirect object is always in the dative case and now the fourth one is वॉकटिव केस वॉक टिव वॉकटिव केस ओके वेन वी एड्रेस सम वन लाइक बॉयज कम हियर बॉयज कम हियर सो द वर्ड विच वी यूज टू एड्रेस सम वन इज ऑलवेज इन द वॉकटिव केस सो हियर बॉयज इज इन द Vocative case, okay. All all the words which we use to address someone are put in the category of the vocative case. And now, and now we will understand. Okay, what case in apposition is case in. apposition apposition case in apposition so when we put i mean when uh, when i say that two nouns are in apposition it means two nouns indicating the same person or thing are put next to each other do noun jo hum kahenge ki ye nouns apposition mein hai iska matlab 
कि वो नाउंस जो है वो सेम व्यक्ति को या सेम चीज़ को इंडिकेट कर रहे हैं उनसे मतलब एक ही व्यक्ति की बात हो रही है एक ही चीज़ की और वो अगल बगल रखी जाती फॉर एग्जाम्पल I met I met Ram the director of the company of the company ओके, सो ही राम एंड द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द कंपनी दिस राम दिस वर्ड एंड द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द कंपनी दिस यू कैन से दिस फ्रेज ओके बोथ ऑफ देम बोथ ऑफ देम इंडिकेट द सेम पर्सन राम ओके सो वी कैन से दैट दीज टू आर इन एपोजिशन ओके बिकॉज दे आर इंडिकेटिंग द सेम पर्सन एंड Whenever two now when two nouns have an apposition, then there is then no conjunction is put between them. Okay, I met Ram, the director of the company. And now the fourth one and uh, the most important one is possessive of genitive case. The sixth one. Possessive. or you can say genitive case possessive case is used to is used to show relationship or ownership and a possessive case is formed by adding apostrophe s to the noun so what is possessive case jaise hum log apostrophe s aur s se likhte hain ये पोस्ट्रॉफी एस इसे राम्स बुक राम्स बुक तो ये क्या है अपोस्ट्रॉफी एस तो हम लोग यहां क्या कहेंगे कि राम जो है वो पोजिटिव केस में है राम इज इन द पोजिटिव केस ओके बिकॉज वी हैव एडेड पोस्ट्रॉफी एस टू द वर्ड राम एंड नाउ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज नाउ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड where we have to use the apostrophe s and where we do not have to use the apostrophe s or where we have to use only the apostrophe not the s okay so let's see what possessive of genitive case is usually there are three situations in which apostrophe s is omitted okay first the first situation is the apostrophe s is omitted whenever there is a whenever there is a plural noun ending ending with the letter s for example girls right here girl is in the plural form ending with the letter s so we simply have to put apostrophe not s we can say we can say a girls college so this is the first situation okay. this is the first situation where we do not have to add apostrophe s okay we simply have to say a girls college kyun kyunki jab koi noun plural mein ho aur wo s mein end ho rahi hai jaise plural mein ho s mein jaise agar main kahun मेन्स कॉलेज तो ये प्लूवल तो है कि इट इज मैन मैन दिस वर्ड इज इन द प्लूवल फॉर्म बट इट डिज नॉट एंड विद द लेटर एस वी कैन नॉट से मेन्स मैन इज इन मैन इज द सिंगुलर फॉर्म मैन इज द प्लूवल फॉर्म अगर हमें कहना है कि मेन्स कॉलेज देन वी हैव टू पुट लाइक दिस मेन्स कॉलेज तब हम एपोस्ट्रॉफी एस लिखेंगे अगर नाउन प्लूवल में है और लेकिन एस या ई एस में एंड नहीं होती है एंड हियर द नाउन इज इन द्लूवल फॉर्म एंड इट एंड इट ऑल्सो एंड विद द लेटर एस ओके सो गर्ल्स कॉलेज बट नॉट अ गर्ल्स कॉलेज एंड हियर 
men's college here the apostrophe s has been put but here the apostrophe s has not been put so ac situation mein hum log and the second situation is when a noun is in the singular form and its last syllable begins and ends with the letter s jaise for example aapko samajh mein nahi aa ye ho sakta kuch ko na samajh mein aa ki ye kya matlab hai ki syllable dekhiye jaise for example if i say biology jaise ek subject hai by ology so this word can be broken into three units three units matlab जैसे by it is एक unit by हुआ all दूसरे unit g तीसरे unit तो जब हम किसी शब्द को जो उसका उच्चारण करते समय उसको जितनी units में तोड़ सकते हैं तो उसकी जो एक unit होती है उसको एक syllable बोलते हैं और ये जैसे एक unit जो है वो एक vowel के साथ ही बनती है अगर इसमें एक vowel है देखो by एक बन गया unit ऑल ये सेकेंड बन गया जी ये सिल्वल नहीं है लेकिन जब हम इसका वाई सॉरी वाई जो है ये वाउल नहीं है लेकिन इसका जब हम उच्चारण करते हैं इसको इसका जब हम प्रोनाउंसिएशन करते हैं तो जी ई के इसका साउंड ई का निकलता है तो इसलिए हम इसको ये मान के चलते हैं उच्चारण की दृष्टि से कि ये ये भी इसमें भी जी एक सिल्बल का सॉरी एक नाउन जैसे साउंड यहाँ पर निकलता है Biology, तो ये जो एक सिंगल यूनिट होती है इसको सिलेबल बोलते हैं तो अब इसमें कंडीशन क्या है कि अगर कोई वर्ड है जैसे मैं कहूं मोजेज लॉज मो जेज लॉज मोजेज के नियम थे क्यों क्योंकि मो ये एक सिलेबल हो गया जेज ये दूसरा सिलेबल हो गया अब इस दूसरे सिलेबल का जो पहला लेटर है वो भी एस से शुरू होता है और जो इसका एंड का है वो भी एस से है तो इसके बाद जो भी इसके बाद जो है सिंपल केवल हम लोग अपोस्ट्रॉफी रखेंगे एस नहीं लिखेंगे सो वी कैन से मोजेज लॉज लेकिन जैसे ये वर्ड है जेम्स तो यहां पे एम है यहां पे एस है इट डिज नॉट बिगिन विद द लेटर एस तो वी हैव टू वाइट जेम्स जेम्स इज बुक तो अगर इफ द लास्ट सिलेबल ऑफ ए सिंगुलर नाउन बिगिन्स विद एन एस एंड एंड विद एन एस देन वी डू नॉट हैव टू यूज द अपोस्ट्रॉफी एस विद द नाउन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वीनस इज we can say venus is uh, anything we can write so here we have to use the apostrophe s ven because why because v nas here nas is the second syllable ye dusra syllable hai lekin ye n se shuru hota hai s se nahi isliye hame yahan pe apostrophe s lagani padegi third situation jab hame ye possessive case mein apostrophe s hum nahi lagate so whenever when there is a singular noun and that noun ends with the with ce or s and is followed by sake the word sake s a k e we usually we use the word sake generally hum log aise use karte hain jaise ki can you do this for my sake it means can you do this for the benefit for for my benefit of फॉर गॉड से एक भगवान के लिए तो इस तरीके से जैसे मैं कहूं कॉन्शंस कॉन्शंस सेक वाई वी डू नॉट यूज हियर अपोस्ट्रॉफी एस बिकॉज दिस वर्ड एंस विथ सी ऑफ एंड इफ देव हैड बीन अ वर्ड I mean, if and if there is a word which ends with the letter S and it is followed by the word sake, then again we will not use the 
apostrophe s and now we will see where we have to use the, the apostrophe s how because in when it comes to apostrophe s there were many exceptions so we also have to look at them what are those exceptions and uh, we but the most important thing we have to see where we do not use the apostrophe s in our daily life okay so let's have a look at them okay the first one is inanimate objects inanimate objects means non living things or dead things so nouns denoting inanimate objects are seldom put in the genitive case it means ki jo aisi cheeze hoti hain jo dead hoti hain non living hoti hain bahut hi rarely bahut hi rarely unko hum log genitive case mein rakhte hain jaise example ke taur pe main kahun ki the houses garden the houses garden so it is incorrect why because the house is an inanimate thing ye ek inanimate thing a non living thing hai to non living thing ke sath hum log bahut hi rare case mein exceptions hai bahut hi rare case mein hum log apostrophe s use karte hain to iska kya tarika hota hai there were two ways first when whenever there is a there is an inanimate object we show the relation by the preposition of they say the garden of the house ya likh deta hu the garden of the house so either we can we can say like this the garden of the house or we can say the house garden the house garden or we can write like this here the house has been treated as if it were an adjective as if it is qualifying the word garden to is tarike se ya tum log bolenge the house garden no apostrophe s yes, or the garden of the house so jo inanimate non living things hote hain unke sath usually hum log lagbhag lagbhag kabhi nahi hum log apostrophe s yes ka use karte hain persons or living thing inke sath we always use the apostrophe s yes with persons or living things for example i can say a tiger's tail tiger's tail why because the tiger is a living being mayank's book mayank's book mayank is a person so we will use the apostrophe s mayank's book now the third one is personified things a personified things kya hoti hain whenever we treat an inanimate object as a living being or you can say as a human being i mean whenever we treat something as if as if it has human qualities then we can say that that object has been or that thing has been personified for example fortune's favorite fortune's favorite ab hum ye kahe ki bhai fortune ka favorite aadmi hai kismat ka bahut dhani keh lo to yahan pe we have using we have we have personified the word fortune since it has been personified it means that it has human qualities and since it has human qualities it is treated as a person and as it is treated as a person it will be put in the possessive or genitive case so sorrows tears ab dukh ke koi aansu to hote nahi hai lekin agar hum kahe sorrows tears 
So it means that we are personifying the word sorrow. Since we are personifying it, then we will have to put it in the possessive case, sorrow's tears. And now we will look some more nouns which are put in the possessive case. For example, nouns showing time, value, time, value, word, okay. So let's have a look at them. Okay, so nouns denoting time, space, weight or value are usually put in the possessive case. For example, time, a day's leave. Ye time dikhara ek din ki chutti. While a day's leave, it is an inanimate thing. Koi living thing to hai ni day. To hum iske saath apostrophe s nahi use karte. Lekin why? We are using the apostrophe s because it is showing time. So nouns showing time, space, weight or value are put, are usually put in the possessive case. Ye jada tab ye aise possessive case mein hote hain. Jaise a day's leave, two days leave. Ab yahaan pe humne apostrophe s likha hai, kyunki ye noun singular mein hai aur leave likha hai. लेकिन यहां पे क्या है टू डेज लीव यहां हमने केवल अपोस्ट्रॉफी लिखा है एस नहीं लिखा वाई क्योंकि हम पहले ही पढ़ चुके हैं कि इफ अ नाउन इज इन द प्लुरल फॉर्म एंड एंड विद द लेटर ई और विद द लेटर एस और ई एस देन वी सिंपली पुट द अपोस्ट्रॉफी नॉट द एस स्पेस जब यहां कोई जगह की स्पेस की बात हो जैसे अ नीडल्स पॉइंट नीडल का पॉइंट तो इट इज इट इज showing space a boat's length again it is talking about space weight vajan ki jab baat ho a pound's weight yahan pe ek pound ka vajan so since we are talking about weight so we have put the word pound in the genitive case or in the possessive case value when when we are talking about the value of something then we also use the apostrophe s a shilling's worth एक शिलिंग की क्या वर्ड है अ शिलिंग वर्ड शिलिंग की वर्ड सो वी हैव पुट द अपोस्ट्रॉफी एस अच्छा लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग मोर अबाउट द पोजिटिव केस वेन एवर वेन देर इज अ नाउन शोइंग अ बिल्डिंग और सम प्लेस विच इज यूजली अंडरस्टूड so we do not use that noun uh, we do not use that noun for example let me explain it for example i say that i am going to the i am going to the doctor's clinic okay so if i simply say that i am going to the doctor i am going to the doctors if i remove this word then i hope it is understood what we are talking about if i say i am going to the doctors then it is obvious that i am going to the doctors either to the clinic or to the hospital so when ever the noun showing a place usually a place is understood there is no need to use that noun we simply put this noun in the possessive case for example i say that i am i am going to the barber barbers okay i am going to the barbers now do i need to write salon we can write but if we do not write then it is already understood that obviously if i am going to the bar barber then i am going to his salon why do you go why do we go to a barber to get a haircut and we can get a haircut in a salon okay, so i am going to the barber so whenever 
such words have i mean when we can easily understand what we are talking about i mean like these things then there is no need to write them we simply write these nouns in the possessive case and the sense is understood i am going to the doctor's clinic there is no need to say clinic if you if you say clinic if you use this word there is no i mean nothing is wrong everything is all right okay but if you don't want to use them even then the sentence is completely correct Okay, now we will just have a look at a couple of exceptions. There were many exceptions, but we will just have a look at a couple of exceptions. For example, if I say he was at his wits, he was at his wits end. So here we have used the apostrophe, right? While it is an inanimate object. There is no need to use the apostrophe, but here we have to use. Okay, this is an exception. He did it, he did it to his heart's content. Matlab, usne ye tab tak kiya, jab tak ki wilkul satisfied nahi tha. Content means, this if I say that I am content with it, it means I am happy with it. I am satisfied with it. He was at his wits, he was at his wits end. Matlab, wo kuch samaj nahi pa raha tha. Okay, he did it to his heart's content. For example, if I say that you can eat, you can eat to your heart's content. It means you can eat as much as you want till you are satisfied, till you are full. Acha, let me tell you one more thing. When, when this word content means happiness, or when the I mean when this word content means happy or satisfied, then it is pronounced as content. But when it means, for example, if I say that I don't want to discuss the content of the book. So when it means the subject or when it means, for, for example, I say that I don't know the contents of the contents of the container. It means I don't know what things are in the container. So when we mean things or the subject, okay, for example, I don't want to discuss the content of the book. It means I don't want to discuss the subject the book deals with. Or I don't know the contents of the box. It means I don't know what the box has. I don't know what things the box has. So, when things ka ya subject ka matlab hota hai, then we pronounce it as content. But when it means happy or satisfied, then we pronounce it as content. For example, the boat's crew. This is also an exception. We use here uh, boat ka jo crew hai apostrophe s while boat is an inanimate object a dead thing a non-living thing we are not supposed to use it but it has been used and you will also come across a couple of you will also come across many more exceptions so you but you just have to keep in mind the basic rules because in your competitive exams the questions are asked to the basic rules okay they will not go very deep into this uh, into the possessive case into this topic all right so i hope this topic is clear and if there is anything which you find difficult to understand if you think that uh, there is a mistake somewhere then please write a comment in the comment box and uh, let me know what problem you are facing and i will explain it in the next video thank you very much bye bye have a good day